Hello, and welcome to another episode of Snail Mail with Smokey. I'm Smokey. On today's program, I thought we'd take a look at all the postcards I received this week through postcrossing.com, as well as some friend swaps. So let's get right to the postcards, shall we? Uh, the first postcard that I received this week is this amazing postcard right here. Uh, you no doubt recognize this. This is uh, Mr. Spock, as uh, portrayed by Leonard Nimoy. Uh, Mr. Spock is one of the uh, world's most uh, enduring and beloved sci-fi characters. And so as a huge Trekkie myself, I was very excited uh, to receive this card. Uh, you notice the phrase at the bottom of the card that is not in Vulcan, uh, but it is in German, and it says, without creativity, uh, there is no development. Uh, so this card comes from Germany, and look how beautifully decorated the card is. Uh, we have a, a Spock sticker and, and a washi tape, and then the brand new uh, post-crossing stamp. Uh, that just came out this year in Germany. Uh, this is the first one that I received. Uh, not the first one that we'll see in this video, uh, or not the only one that we'll see in this video, but the first one that I received uh, was this week. So very happy to get that. Uh, very thankful for this card. One of my favorite cards. Uh, so thank you so much for that. Uh, from Germany, we move on to Poland. And this beautiful card, uh, I love this church and, and uh, the, green, uh, the green fields around the church. Uh, so beautiful. Uh, this comes from Anna, uh, who lives in Poland and says that uh, she's just recently moved to Poland from Belarus uh, just a few months ago. And then Anna has included uh, these stamps right here. Uh, this first stamp uh, featuring uh, Pope John Paul II. Uh, was issued on December 4th, 2021. Uh, it was issued in celebration of the 30th anniversary of Radio uh, Marija. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, excuse me. But it is a religious radio station in, in Poland who just had their 30th anniversary. And then this stamp here was issued on October 7th of 2022 uh, for the uh, 16th uh, annual Heinrich uh, Verminski violin competition. So please, uh, please forgive me if I pronounced either one of those names uh, incorrectly. But uh, I really like those stamps and uh, really like this postcard. So thank you, Anna from Poland for that. And then from Poland, uh, we move to Austria and look at this beautiful multi-view postcard. Uh, isn't that just, uh, well, it's stunning, I think. Uh, just all the views and, and the snow. Um, it's just a place you want to be. Uh, you want to travel along this road here. Uh, stop and have a hot beverage. And just take in the beauty of the surroundings. I really like it. And so here is the, uh, the stamp. And a little ladybug sticker. So thank you for that. Now back to Germany. And it is this postcard here. It says, be kind to your mind. And uh, it is a, an image of someone uh, watering the, the garden of their mind. And uh, so we only have one mind and we, we need to treat it well. So thank you for that. And it says, greetings from, from Hamburg, Germany. Uh, and then this comes with another post-crossing stamp, one of the new stamps. And so you can see the difference between the two. This one uh, just barely canceled. The other one really heavily canceled. Um, so very excited to receive another one of these. So thank you very much for that. Uh, this next card is also from Germany. And it is a hand-colored card. Uh, the person has colored this card uh, themselves, and it is a, a tortoise, and uh, you know that I love those, so I was really happy to receive, to receive this card. And then notice the decoration. They've colored uh, the starfish and, 
and things there so very nice and another post crossing stamp so thank you so much for that i'm hoping that uh that the united states will get on board and uh, that we will get a post crossing stamp soon i know that there are those of you out there who are writing letters and uh, and contacting the united states postal service uh requesting that i do know that it's rather a long process i believe it's a two or three year process uh to get a new stamp issued so hopefully uh in the not uh, so distant future we will have our very own post crossing stamp here in america and then next i received this wonderful card uh, from finland it's a beautiful card um, you just kind of want to sit there uh, at the edge of the water and uh, this person says they live on the west coast of finland their ancestors were fishermen and uh, they still have some of the fishing cottages in their possession and they spend a lot of time there in the summer how wonderful that is uh, and it also says that everyone in finland uh, likes likes a sauna and uh, so very interesting facts and so thank you for that card and then there is the stamp from finland so thank you so very much for that the last official postcard i received this week is this postcard come in this envelope and there are the stamps and so a couple things inside uh, first they have sent me a packet of stamps so we will look at them a little later uh, and then here is the postcard look at that postcard isn't that amazing uh, this comes uh, from the Netherlands and uh, this person writes uh, that they are also a pastor uh, they're a pastor of a problem uh, Protestant church in a small town in the Netherlands and uh, that the picture on the postcard is a Roman helmet uh, that was found on the Netherlands and so they asked me uh, a couple questions about my church uh, that I pastor so I, I responded to them uh, so what a beautiful postcard um, I really love the image on this card and then uh, also the great stamps so thank you so much so that is the official postcards that I received now on to uh, friend swaps and I received uh, this postcard. Uh, this comes from uh, some pen pals that I've had for for a little while now. Um, I met them through Post Crossing, uh, Catherine and Werner, who live in Germany. Uh, they've become great pen pals and friends of uh, my wife and myself. And so they were away uh, for a couple days seeing friends. And so, so very thoughtful they sent uh, this postcard to us. And then this is the stamp and what i thought was unique about this stamp is they write uh, that the stamp is from an automatic machine uh, which printed it on the street uh, so i'm not sure what that's about if you uh, are familiar with this uh, leave me a comment and let me know but it sounds like that catherine and Werner were able to pick up a postcard uh, then head to a vending machine uh, and insert some money and the vending machine just printed a stamp right then uh, which I think is really really cool uh, so let me know if that's the case um, maybe you have uh, these stamp machines where you're at uh, we don't have any around here we used to have kind of coin operated stamp machines here in the US where you put a, a quarter in I think that was a stamp back then you push the button in your stamp come out uh, but I'm not familiar with any automated uh, stamp machines here in the US I don't live in a, in, a, in a big area so maybe in bigger cities there are such a thing uh, but I just found that fascinating that that was printed right there in the machine um, on the street where they were so so thank you Catherine and Werner once again for that next is this card I think this card as well as a stamp is absolutely beautiful and stunning uh, this comes from Jilly B Jilly B living her life her way here on YouTube please check out Jilly B's channel uh, she does so many great things uh, but Jilly has uh, has sent me this card uh, of Her Majesty the Queen uh, and possibly the last time we're going to see her image um, on a stamp 
and uh, and this is the stamp right here and it's just uh, it's so beautiful the queen and as, as someone who who loves all things uh, related to Great Britain uh, and the history the history of the monarchy I really appreciated this from Jilly and uh, check out this washi tape it's got the great pillar mailbox and some letters and so Jilly thank you so much I love this card and then the last card comes from Lila. Uh, Lila lives here in the U.S. and she sent me, uh, let me turn it the right side up. There we go. That's better. Uh, she sent me this card. And uh, this card is to promote uh, foster care and child adoption uh, here in the U.S. And so I think it's a beautiful card and, uh, and such a great cause. And then here is the uh, the pre-printed stamp on the card. And then she's added the bunny stamp uh, for additional postage so it will get here. So Lila, thank you. Another great postcard that you sent me. And I really, really appreciate it. Okay, that's all the postcards I received this week. I think it was a really great week um, at the mailbox. And I was excited to receive so many beautiful cards as well as stamps. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this Thursday, uh, November 24th, is Thanksgiving Day here in America. Uh, so if you're here in America and you celebrate Thanksgiving Day, uh, have a very happy Thanksgiving. Uh, my wife and I are going to get up early in the morning, probably 4 o'clock or so. Uh, we're going we're gonna to cook a turkey as well as a ham. Uh, I make a couple different kinds of sweet potatoes. My wife makes rolls and other side dishes. And it's a good time for her and I just to get in the kitchen and spend some time together cooking. And then our family will come over um, in the early afternoon and uh, we'll sit down and have a meal together. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to that. So have a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, and wherever you're at, I hope you have a great day. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.